Hello everyone. I am Ko Cheng from Institution of Automation, Chinese Academic of Science. I'm glad to present my work, Skeleton-Based Action Recognition with Shift Graph Convolutional Network. With the development of post-sensors and post-estimation methods, skeleton-based human action recognition has attracted much attention. Recently, GCN-based methods have achieved a remarkable performance. In AAAI 2018, Yan et al. proposed SDGCN, which contains two parts, spatial graph convolution and temporal graph convolution. For spatial dimension, the adjacent matrix is partitioned into three partitions. For temporal dimension, the temporal graph is constructed by connecting consecutive frames. Recently, many variants of SDGCN are proposed. However, there are two shortcomings of these GCN-based methods. Firstly, the computational cost is too heavy, even reach about 100 G flops. Secondly, the receptive field of both spatial graph and temporal graph are predefined heuristically. We propose shift graph convolutional network to address both shortcomings. Our shift GCN is inspired from shift CNNs. Figure A shows regular convolution in CNNs. Figure C shows regular convolution in spatial GCNs. Figure B shows shift convolution in CNNs. It contains a shift operation and a lightweight pointwise convolutional kernel, where the receptive field is specified by the shift operation. Therefore, a shift graph convolution should contain a shift graph operation and a lightweight pointwise convolution, as shown in figure D. In the skeleton graph, for a node with k neighbors, we equally divide its channels into k plus 1 partitions. We let the first partition return the current feature, the other k partitions are shifted from its neighbor's feature. In the shifted feature, every node obtains the information from its local receptive field. We call it local spatial graph shift. However, recent researchers show that only considering local connection is not optimal for skeleton action recognition. Therefore, we mix the receptive field of every node, covers the full skeleton graph, and propose non-local spatial graph shift operation. The shifted feature looks like a spiral, which makes every node obtain the information from all other nodes. For temporal dimension, we first review the naive temporal shift operation proposed in SCV 2019, whose receptive field is set manually, which causes two shortcomings. Firstly, Different layers need diverse temporal receptive field. The exhaustive search of all possible combinations of receptive field is intractable. Secondly, different datasets may need different temporal receptive field, which limits the generalization ability between datasets. We propose an adaptive temporal shift operation to solve both shortcomings. Inspired from active shift in CNNs, we relax the temporal shift parameters from integer to real numbers. The non-integer shift can be computed by linear interpolation, which is differentiable and can be trained through backpropagation. We perform ablation study on NTO IGBD dataset. For spatial dimension, our spatial graph shift convolution achieves higher performance with more than three times less flops than regular spatial GCNs. For temporal dimension, our adaptive temporal shift operation outperforms the regular convolution and the naive temporal shift operation. We also visualize the learned adaptive temporal shift parameters. The shift parameter of top layers tend to be larger than that of bottom layers. The shift parameter trained on NTU IGBD dataset tend to be larger than that of NWUCLA dataset. This is reasonable because the average frame number of action samples in NTU IGBD is about twice larger than that of NWUCLA. After ablation study on spatial model and temporal model, we conduct spatial temporal shift graph convolution and further boost the performance and efficiency. When compared with state-of-the-art methods, we adopt the commonly used multi-stream strategy. As shown in the figure, the proposed shift GCN outperforms the current state-of-the-art methods with more than 10 times less computational cost. Our code is available on GitHub. That's all. Thank you.